stress appears to increase inflammation. In this great study we adopted from Barrett and colleagues, what you're seeing is that stressed individuals actually have more pro-inflammatory blood. Blood samples from stressed individuals in the blue had a higher reaction to LPS, endotoxin, than did their non-stressed controls. So if you're experiencing symptoms that are conducive to high inflammation, food reactivity, supplement reactivity, environmental reactivity, and you're stressed, engage in practices that can reduce stress. Mindfulness, meditation, exercise, and time in nature are great ways to start and presumably to help reduce this inflammation that can be part of the root cause of many health ailments and symptoms. 